Hey mates, and welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we'll be focusing on the turtle. <laughs> He's looking at me. <laughs> Did you know that turtles are found in every continent of the world? Except for Antarctica. These incredible cold-blooded reptiles are defined as testudines and are characterised by having a special bony or cartilage type shell developed from their ribs and acts as a shield. Turtles are one of the most ancient creatures to roam the earth. They're even around with the dinosaurs. It's, it's a dinosaur. Turtles are also classified as amniotes, meaning they breathe air and do not lay eggs underwater. Even though many species live in, or around the water. Turtles are often kept as pets. The early known record of domestication was in the late 19th century. There is very little difference between wild and domesticated turtles. Although domesticated turtles were bred to survive in artificial environments only. Although they do not form meaningful bonds with owners, they do recognise owners, but mostly only as the bringer of food. Besides this, all turtles, domesticated or wild, have the same instincts and goals in life. Can we truly say that these animals are domesticated? They do not rely on humans, and maybe should be considered more as captive wild animals. Turtles have many different connotations and are treated differently across cultures. They are frequently depicted in popular culture as easygoing, patient and wise creatures. Due to their long lifespan, slow movement, sturdiness and wrinkled appearance, they are an emblem of longevity and stability in many cultures across the world. In African fairy tales, turtles are defined as the most clever animal. Wayamba is an Aboriginal Dreamtime story about the creation of turtles. And in Hinduism, Akupara is a turtle who carries the world on his back, upholding the earth and the sea. In some countries with large Chinese populations, it is normalised to eat and use turtle meat. Turtle soup is a Chinese delicacy. The meat, skin and innards of the turtle are all used, but only soft shell turtles can be used as hard shell turtles are often avoided due to their mythical connotations. But mateys, scientists now report that nearly half of all turtle species are being threatened. That's nearly 47%. Turtles are being used for food, pets, traditional medicine. All parts of the animal at all different ages are exploited haphazardly. On top of these targeted attacks, their habitats are becoming increasingly fragmented, destroyed, developed and polluted. Populations are shrinking nearly everywhere. In Australia, all six specimens of marine turtles that occur in our natural waters are protected under the Australian Government's Environmental Protection and Biodiversity Conversion Act of 1999. The leatherback, loggerhead and olive ridley turtle are each listed as endangered under this act which means that these species may become extinct if the threats to their survival continue. The green, hawksbill and flatback turtle are also listed as vulnerable, which means that they may become endangered if the threats continue. Although interestingly enough, turtles may be legally hunted by Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island people under the Native Act for personal, domestic and non-commercial communal needs. Currently, the human-turtle relationship is unmaintainable. Breeding and education programs, as well as the current sustainability acts, are important in helping all kinds of turtles survive in their natural habitats, as well as being treated fairly in more domestic situations. Struth! Come on guys, let's help our little buddies out. 